Well, what's the first thing we should do on this? Multiply, Multiply by? <clears throat> positive 5. <laughs> I'm going to multiply by a negative 5. Just to cancel that out completely, right? Now, here's the thing is I multiplied both sides by negative 5. That cancels these out, right? So now I got 9x plus 4 is greater than or equal to negative 40. No, sign. That is correct. We need to flip that sign. <coughs> so now it's less than or equal to oh, negative 40. Again, why is that? We multiplied both sides by that negative 5. Now we can continue as a regularly programmed schedule, whatever. Negative 44, and this is comparing to 9x. So dividing both sides by 9. x is less than or equal to negative 44 ninths. Um, what the heck is that? That's about... Well, I guess it is. Uh, four point. Thank you. Negative four point eight. I guess technically it repeats, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So how do we graph this thing? Well, first thing we need is a number line. Oh, that, that'll work. And this is between negative five and negative four. Negative four point eight. Repeating would be, I'm going to say it's about right there. Right? Um, I guess I shouldn't be using a circle either. So this one's not eating the x, so it's going to the left. It is equal, so we would use a square bracket. Okay? Here's what I don't want to see on a test is, even if your answer is right here, don't put negative 4.8 right here. Worst of all, and I've done this before, is I look at these as positives, and so I put negative 4.8 way over here. Mm -hmm. Just be careful with that, all right? Do you